So I'm testing out this new camera and I love it. It's the Insta360 Action Cam number two, Insta360 two, it folds up. The depth and the quality and the angles you can get by filming discreetly with this or flipping it around like I'm doing right now are insane. It's pretty darn easy to use. Battery life is okay and you can't put a whole lot of film on it, but it's definitely strategic. I'm here in Westminster at Two Step Tammy's listing. The Tammy the realtor, the expert of North and South Orange County. Tammy, I just had a quick question for you. When Should it I grab my cowboy hat? You can grab your cowboy hat. She'll take you dancing. She'll try to take you dancing. <laughs> uh, if uh, I'm just doing, I'm coming from a place of borrower education today, Tammy, or agent education too. Um, quiz for you. What does it mean when you get a conditional approval? You won, <laughs> you win the prize. Um, I agree with Tammy. I think that what's important to know is that the more you can get up front from the client to make the cleanest loan submission possible, the more uh, chance that you're gonna have of the least amount of approval or of conditions on your approval. When you get these approval conditions, sometimes the real value in the loan officer is being able to tell and read those conditions and go, look, we've got a problem here or we don't have a problem or quick communication with the underwriter to solve the problem instead of just turning in stuff like throwing it at the wall to see what sticks. It's better to have a relationship with the underwriter, find out what they want, uh, be able to communicate and verbalize that with them and be able to save time and skip going a lot of the going back and forth, which is what real estate agents get really peeved about. And conditions are just basically steps. It's like learning a dance. You gotta learn it slowly before you can make the full turn. Yeah, they wouldn't be called conditions if the underwriter didn't think that we were able to meet them. Yes, sometimes they'll condition you out. You know, I was taught that as an underwriter. Just condition it so you don't have to do the denial. That doesn't happen very much. But at the end of the day, they want to make sure that whoever is buying the house, that all their things are qualified. So all their documentations are in a row so that it just basically is a slam dunk. So if you ever ask that from a lender that there's conditions, don't flip out, don't freak out, don't put your honky tonk boots away, put them back on and we'll just get to the dance floor. Coming from Westminster. Westminster, five miles to the ocean. Five miles to the I'm ocean. Gonna make just to get on a bike and we're gonna go. A right million right. what? 1.1. 1. 1. 1.0999. 1. 1.1. 1. 1. 1. 1.1 Westminster, four bedrooms, two bath, a she shed, and us fabulous people to help you out. Hello from Westminster, California. Justin Couts, loan officer. Thank you for tuning in to my channel, my YouTube channel. I'm here with Tammy, or otherwise known as Two-Step Tammy. Uh, Two-Step Tammy is a dancing, uh, country western dancing enthusiast and real estate agent, uh, all the way from La Habra to Diamond Bar to Westminster to Newport Beach. She really covers a lot and she's versed in a lot of different areas. So we're here today with her at her open house in Westminster and this is 5282 Cornell Avenue, Westminster, California, 92683. Um, this is a fixer, this is a first time home buyer uh, type of home in Orange County, California. Um, yeah, it's a million one, a million ninety nine. It's uh, currently licensed for uh, outpatient rehab. Um, if anyone is a business owner looking for that, that could be a viable option. A lot of first time home buyers, I always say it November, December, the best months in Orange County. Why? Because it's 75. Christmas Day is always beautiful. I can't remember a cloudy Christmas Day in Newport Beach, Orange County. And there's no people. The people come in the summer, there's heat, there's humidity. Not that bad, but winter, fall, my favorite in the OC. Westminster, California, 
doing some uh, door knocking, aka flyer distribution for a little Christmas walk party we're having and home equity lines, something that everybody needs, that a lot of people need. Um, <clears throat> you can get a home equity line at 60% loan to value with a 640. You can get a home equity line at 90% loan to value with a 740. You can be at 80%, I believe, with a 700, 85, I'm sorry. So there's just a different tiers. FICO scores are very important, so don't get any lates. HELOCs are helping people through this tough time. Let's go. Tammy, the realtor's got me door knocking out here. The things lenders have to do, I gotta schlep all her signs. I gotta clean the whole house afterwards. Um, and I'm barbecuing. Look at all the things that I do. I can't believe some of the upgrades people have put in these homes. Look at all the tile work behind me that they did. It's really, really nice. Talk to some people, young couple from New Jersey. Uh, well, he's from New Jersey. She's from here, Westminster, La Habra area. And moving back to New York City. And um, moving back from New York City to buy a home. And they're looking and they asked me, what is, what are you guys doing, Justin? How are you guys doing this for people who aren't rates in the eights? I said, no, rates really got a lot better last week. And uh, we saw a little worsening in pricing towards the end of the week, but rates got a lot better. And we're doing a combination of the 2-1 short-term buy-down and the long-term buy-down combined to give people the best chances possible of the longest, lowest payment before they can refinance. Let's go. One of the simplest things that buyers can learn about uh, buying a home in Orange County in this 1.1, 1.2 range, which is the first time home buyer range in Orange County, is that those FHA and conventional rules always apply because FHA does its job. This flyer here. So FHA does its job because if someone wants to buy conventional with 5% down or 3% for a conventional loan and they don't have the 740 or the 760 credit score that they thought that they had and they've got a 680 or a 679, man, FHA to save the day, same loan amount of a million 89, there's no hits for credit on FHA and VA like there is on conventional. Conventional gets real expensive real quick. Let's go from Westminster. One of the things about these homes I'm noticing here out in Westminster off of Bolsa Chica, Tammy the realtor, is that I'm door knocking here and everybody has these big patios out front with little bistro tables. They must sit out here in the morning and have their coffee like every single house. It's cool. Okay, so we are here at the open house today in Westminster at my new listing, just under 1.1. This is my lender, Justin. Hello. Look at this. He's a fine specimen. Tried to lie to this lady earlier and say he was 41. 41? Yeah, I was like, you're not 41. Anyway, so we made a bunch of new best friends. He tried to get a date, but I actually blew the cover and said, he's not 41, ladies. <laughs> no, 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 no. So he might, I might have blown his cover. I think I'm not the good wing woman. But uh, we did make a bunch of best friends. We've got some new clients. Oh, who's the hot chick on the, oh, that's me. <laughs> Melvin Bias, seriously, in all seriousness, we met a bunch of people. Mm -hmm. We're selling this beautiful home. We're pot, we're hustling loans and houses, and uh, we're gonna invite you to a Christmas party in Corona Mar on December third. So Noon be, to be five. there or be square.
Guys, I have a cool story about a new client that I met last week. He's doing a home equity line, but I want to tell you why he's doing a home equity line. He's going to do investments. Uh, he doesn't want to touch his first. He's got great credit. He's got a lot of equity and he wants to get this. He's investing in Wagyu beef. He's got a $5,000. He's investing in Wagyu beef, uh, a herd. He already owns four of them and he wants to buy more cattle in Southern Indiana. He actually lives in Dana Point. I'd call him a friend now. What's up, Daniel? And um, it's just a cool story. And if anybody needs a HELOC, we got his HELOC uh, approved in less than 24 hours with two conditions. Well, three, title, updated insurance, and a letter of explanation. Uh, that takes basically two minutes to write on a Discover credit card inquiry. No appraisal, um, slam dunk, and um, we can let you know if you need an appraisal or not right away. Justin with JK Mortgage and Spot on Lending. Let's go.